Good morning, River Valley. Today is Tuesday, April 6th. I'm Christian Berger. And I'm Ken Snow. No, it's my show today, Ken. Welcome back to your River Valley Broadcasting Channel. Let's start off the day with the morning announcements. Girls, remember that Cinderella's um, closet is still open all this week, sponsored by National's Honor Society. So if you want to go to prom but you can't afford a dress, they're only $5. Stop in in the auditorium. Check it out. Any students planning to play football next year, if you're available on Friday, the new football coach will be having a meeting at 9.30 in the new gym with any students or parents that want to meet him. Are you a good singer? If so, the school's advanced choir, also known as Chamber Singers, will be holding auditions on the 12th and 13th during lunch and after school for the next year, right? So please prepare a verse and a chorus, right? So basically just the first part of a song, unaccompanied from the actual music, and of course, it is of your choosing. So sign up at the door at G101 or the piano room, or just talk to Carlson. That can be thrilled to, to hear your interest. Students, please do not take condiments from ice trays in the cafeteria. It is set up this way according to Country Health Code. It is the law. If any bottles are found at a lunch table, the lunch table will be stored and not put back out. So please be considerate. Prom tickets are being sold today at lunch. Get your tickets now before they get hiked up to $70 at the door. Voting for prom, 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 prom court will be done during lunch today. Uh, so make sure, get out there, vote for your favorite senior couple, or just group, you know, and it'll just have a good time. As well, senior shirts will be sold today during lunch. There are only 50 of the new signature shirts, nice and fancy, and they're only $15. Have you ever heard of fickle, pickleball? If not, don't feel bad. Come check out the game this evening on Thursday from 4 to 7, and we do this every Thursday, so feel free to stop by at any time. Many students, such as myself, are quite a fan of pickleball. We get out there, play some hoops, play some rounds, and uh, it's real fun. So here's a quick clip of uh, some of the action. You like what you saw? You can pick up a racket and join the fun on Flex Fridays. That's right, pick a ball on Thursdays and on Flex Fridays. So stop by whenever it's convenient for you. Have a whale of a time. There is Flex Friday on April 14th, and any students assigned for detention or a class and does not show up on Flex Friday, then the student will not be allowed into prom. So make sure you get here. Students, are you thinking about playing sports next year? Don't wait to turn in your physicals until later. Go get them done now. That's right, the physical application forms are in the sports athletic office. So just stop by, get it, turn it in early so that you don't have to, uh, you know, miss out for football, volleyball, and cross country, which all start on the first week of school. National Honor Society Juniors. Don't forget the juniors only meeting, VIP, is today in Mrs. R's room at lunch. So see you there. Students who registered to take the ACT test at River Valley this Saturday were reassigned to another test center. Very important. So please make sure to log into your ACT account to verify your test center and print your admission ticket. See your guidance counselor if you need assistance. Juniors. Tomorrow is the last day to turn in your application for Gear Up Summer Leadership Academy, also known as GUSLA, at NAU. There are two spots still available, so see Mrs. Beardsley. Attention seniors, stop by the counselor's office and sign up for your walking partner for graduation. Both partners must be present and sign up. The deadline is Thursday, April 13th. National Library Week is April 9th through 15th. We will give you half off of your library fines. Come by and see Mrs. Page in the library next week. 
The library will be closed this morning for Ames testing. Teachers, please do not send students to the library. If a student needs to get an ID, have them go to the outside door of the bookstore right behind the auditorium. So let's move on to a local trending story. That's right, we're keeping you up to date about what's going on in here. There's a new colorful case sweeping across the valley. A group of mysterious artists are painting rocks and hiding them throughout the valley. I've got one right here. Keep your eyes out for brightly painted rocks that are appearing in random locations including storefronts and community parks and just random places throughout the valley. Once you find your first call for rock, either post it to the Facebook page Bullhead City Rocks or keep it or rehide it so that others can find it and post their pictures. Now let's move on to today's weather forecast. Today it's going to be mainly sunny with a high temperature of 95 degrees so it is heating up out there. Winds will be from south to southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now it's time for the word of the day. Today's word is cloying. Disgusting or distasteful by reason of excess. Also, excessively sweet or sentimental. Like me. Here's the word in a sentence. In Raymond Chandler's first novel, The Big Sleep, in 1939, Philip Marlowe visits a client in his orchid house, where the air was thick, wet, steamy, and larded with the cloying smell of a tropical orchid. Now it's time for this day in history. On April 6, 1896, the Olympic Games, a long-lost tradition of ancient Greece, are reborn in Athens after 1,500 years uh, from being banned by the Roman Emperor Theodos I. At the opening of the Athens Games, uh, there is a crowd of over 60,000 spectators welcomed um, athletes from 13 different nations to the international competition. On this day in 1776, the Continental Congress takes its first step towards uh, independence by announcing its decision to open all American ports to international trade with any part of the world that is not under British rule. We didn't like them at this point still. It was the first act of independence by Continental Congress that solidified us as Merck. So, uh, that's all we have for announcements today. Thank you all for watching and if you like what you see and you would be interested in joining this River Valley Broadcasting team who has brought you this lovely newscast, Feel free to stop by the IT room to talk to Mr. White, me, Ken, or any of the other fellow teammates. We'd really love to get you in here and possibly even come work as a co-anchor on this show. Also as well, make sure to check out any sports that we do by looking up River Valley High School in Arizona under the NFHS network. And if you want to look at old broadcasts of this news, you can check out our Facebook, or not our Facebook page, our YouTube page at River Valley Broadcasting as well. You can check out our Facebook page at RVHS Broadcasting. We're all over the place, man. But other than that, that's all I have for you folks today. So look out for your colorful rocks and have a good old time.